ni yep. Semua all wheel drive ke? Um, Campur jambu Campur jambu Ok ready Go. 63, 75, 85, 100 Ok Assalamualaikum Good morning Pagi ni kita ada di Desa Park City Plaza Arcadia Kita di Syme Dhabi Auto Fest Driving experience So we are hosted by Yandi today We are testing the Ionic 6 For the Hyundai Ionic We actually have the one of the highest uh, power output at 3.68 kilowatts from the V2L point Dash and Go card also provided for you guys because we are Going to Lalu eh? Two toll eh? Those are the test drive cars All the cars are registered Apparently But there are a few colours that we can see We have two matte Slightly darker And uh, I think the gold Hi, morning Yeah, semua all wheel drive ke? Um, Campur jambu? Campur Oh, yang ni kecil Rear wheel drive, okay you may choose any car lah Okay I say for this too Mana lagi? Ada berapa empat? Ada empat oh, Ada orang, ada orang Ni belum? Ya yeah. Okay uh, for you guys. So we are taking the rear wheel drive You can see from the smaller wheel oh. Okay, interesting okay. So push that button Okay, this is the key fork It's quite big uh, This is the remote parking function Okay, we can see the key fork side by side The left one is the EV6 The right is the Hyundai So it's a bit similar But the lock and unlock button is different uh, The parking is at the side for the Hyundai And on the front, on the Kia Power window switches is in the middle So there's nothing here uh, Side mirror control oh, Side mirror control is here Okay This is the wireless charging So the steering wheel buttons is very similar to the Ionic 5 and EV6 This one you can change the menu So we have driving data And then Tire pressure For the front tire left is slightly lower And then this is the ADAS function So this one to activate the adaptive auto cruise This one to change the distance to the car in front This one to activate the lane keep assist and lane keep warning uh, on the right side is for your infotainment system You can change the mode Similar to the button just now This is for the voice command This is to select uh, next station or next track This is the volume And you can press on this to mute or unmute This is also your favorite button And this is for the phone call This is the gear lever selector So this needs some time to get used to Okay, the gear selector you just twist to the front So there are four dots here indicating the battery level This is the drive mode button you Go for spot all the way So it is interesting It's showing green for eco White for normal And red for spot We are at 89% The range is showing at 403 it looks like very efficient um, From the past driving It's about 21.6 kWh 100 km Okay, we are moving out We still have the pedal shifter To change the regenerative level Okay guys, we start so, Since we are in traffic We just go in uh, single pedal driving I'm not sure whether you can see in the video or not But this car has a heads up display And then uh, the screen Maybe you can see Maybe at the eye level It's a heads up display 
so similar to the Ionic 5 and EV6 we have this blind spot camera if we switch on the indicator at slow speed driving just now the suspension is a bit stiffer than EV6 but the good part is the body roll is a lot less than the EV6 because EV6 is considered SUV so this is considered a coupe let's try uh, the adaptive cruise with lane keep assist increase the speed so we can reduce the distance to the car in front there is a car coming from the left and let's just see in the screen whether it detects it so it detects based on the uh, blind spot warning there ok there is a traffic light in front of me so it's still green so try to catch me so yeah we are using the auto cruise adaptive auto cruise so the car in front is braking so this car is also braking ok in 50 meters we are approaching uh, roundabout and maintaining it doesn't and detect the line here uh, because the steering wheel is uh, you now it's detecting the line so it's showing green I'm not sure whether you can see the heads up display but in the heads up display it's showing the distance to the car in front and the speed so we're entering a roundabout here let me switch off first so it's very the, the, the body roll is very less it's very nice car to drive the suspension is a bit stiff but it's still comfortable So we are approaching a toll so we can try 0 to 100 from here uh, it's a bit weird to find the power window at the middle ok ready Four. 63, 75, 85, 100 so in term of power the single motor is enough it's fast enough uh, how do I compare it to the dual motor EV6 I think now I'm in sport mode but when I floor it it feels like I'm in the eco mode of the dual motor version because when uh, we are using the dual motor car if you use eco mode it is only using the rear uh, motor so it feels exactly the same the power I've noticed just now since this car is a rear wheel drive car uh, even I'm at max regenerative setting uh, the single pedal mode but the braking force is not as strong as my EV6 because the EV6 is actually dual motor so it is using both motor to slow down the car but this one is a bit less so we need to get uh, used to the, the braking force but it's still okay, not bad in terms of NVH uh, I think the wind noise you cannot hear but the road noise maybe it's the 18 inch tyres it's a bit different but it's a bit loud the road noise Anyway, let's just try the auto cruise again. So let's go in front. We'll just follow the lane keep assist with adaptive cruise control. So the cornering here is considered high speed corner, but it is still maintaining the lane. Once in a while, it will ask you to uh, move the steering wheel a bit. So the car in front is braking. 
so we are entering a tunnel so the screen you can change the drive mode setting sorry you go to the settings vehicle it's under drive mode here then there's custom and then you can change power output or maximize acceleration sensitivity you can adjust steering just now it's under normal let's try spot but the normal steering also is quite heavy when you tried just now you can tune based on what you prefer so just now we have customized the uh, driving mode function to change the steering wheel to sport as well as the power to sport so in terms of steering wheel the feel uh, I can't say there's much different but in terms of power I think there is a slightly more power now Try 0 to 100 once again. We are at, we are at 84 percent battery level. with a lot less body roll and the suspension is definitely a bit stiffer you can feel more feedback from the road but it's still comfortable so no worries on that but uh, bear in mind we are on the 18 inch tires so the dual moto 20 inch tires might have a different feel to it so I cannot confirm on the comfortable level Steering wheel feedback uh, is about the same in terms of noise. Uh, road noise is a bit louder, but the wind noise we can hear, cannot hear anything, and uh, from outside as well, the, from other vehicles. So the NVH is very good. So that concludes my test of the Ionic 6 just now. So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe my channel and see you again for the next one.